With the pufferfish toxin example, mm. do you think this could apply to humanoid evolution on alien planets? Aliens would look like us to, due to similar evolution selection. Um, only if that Goldilocks planet uh, that we found was really exactly the same, not just in terms of its abiotic parameters, but had all of the same initial conditions along every step of the way, such that at the point that humans were evolving, we had the same competitors and parasites and predators and all of this. And the abiotic stuff alone, you know, same type of star emitting the same kind of spectrum with the same gravitational effect, same size, same density, same math, all of this stuff. Um, and that wouldn't you know, even do it. And yeah, and and even then, you're really unlikely to get there. Right, because right. the scale at which you're imagining they might look like us, the sort of sci-fi scale in which you know right. the alien is kind of hot, but she's got like a brow ridge or something. Or, yeah, something. yeah. Um, but uh, you know, first of all, how much does a deer look like a kangaroo? A lot, but not enough for it to meet the standard of this question. Right. You don't think a, a, a deer would find a kangaroo hot? <laughs> that I can't speak to. But um, the, my point is you've got two creatures that look very different and function very differently. But, uh, you know, and that's sort of the level at which selection has reinvented a different version on the same theme. Yep. But anyway, so my point would be that said, you know, look at the facial structure of a deer and a kangaroo. There's a lot of analogy, mm -hmm. right? And in fact, there are lots of things in Australia where we say, oh, it's a marsupial mouse, right? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and the fact is it's not. Uh, or, you know, a sugar glider and a, and a flying mm -hmm. squirrel. Um, these things are convergently evolved and they do have a certain similarity, but they don't look alike in the same way that you're asking about. And so anyway, my point would be, look, I'd expect certain things to be very common on other planets that are anything like Earth, or maybe even not with that caveat, like, you know, how likely... Organs that sense light. Right. Well, Organs and that how many? sense uh, molecules that have the capacity to smell if you have the right receptors. Right. And, you know, two eyes makes sense, because binocular vision makes two sense. Two ears, too. Yep. Two ears Stereo. makes sense, yep. right? Because you can detect differences in timing and amplitude that tell you what direction to look. Um, the fact that all of the sense organs are very close to the processing organ, right? That makes sense, too, because you don't want the messages to take a long time to get there and having, you know, you don't want the brain processing visual information from the elbow. That's not good, right? The brain having visual information about its immediate environment um, is sensible. So would I expect that creatures on another planet might have a head? Yeah, and that that head would be the concentration of sense organs that weren't about the surface of the body? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That um, we would not, upon meeting them, have to be instructed as to which is the head end. Right. right? Like it would become immediately <laughs> apparent. It'd be hilarious, though, if it was confusing <laughs> for some reason. Yes. Right. Um, but anyway, so yes, they will look like us. It, very likely a creature that had the basic um, structures, you know, the basic an evolutionary history similar to ours would probably end up looking superficially similar in the sense of, you know, organs and where they'd be and all of that. Yep. But how different could that look? Oh my really, God, really, really Hollywood different. sucks at this. Way more different than... Well, in part because it's restricted to using ape actors. Yeah, ever less so. <laughs> Well, because you've got <laughs> You're CGI. Just about, okay, fine. Yeah, you've got lots no. of room for aliens <laughs> you, to look like whatever they need to look they, like. They must be really union busting in Hollywood <laughs> at this point. <laughs>